My military background is... In the United States Air Force. I was in the U.S. Army. I was in the Army. I was in uh, the Army. I served in Vietnam. Four years in Little Rock Air Force Base. I was in the uh, U.S. Air Force for four years. Air Force? I'm retired Air Force. My whole family goes all the way back to the Civil War. We're veterans who are helping other vets. The TWATD uh, ATD Veterans Committee, working with the USO, we collected almost $9,000 and got some items for the wounded warriors here at Walter Reed Medical Center. We met up with the staff from TWU about a year ago. Within the past six months, we've coordinated item donations, whether it be the breakaway pants for soldiers troops, airmen um, that have fixators on their legs, which is kind of like a, a halo or a cast so you can easily remove pants. Women's items like makeup, lotion. Socks and toothbrushes and um, all the sundry type items, toys, clothes. The airline division, the transit division, the rail division, the gaming division, I mean everybody came through. V-M-E-R-G, which is um, AA, also participated. We had a whole line of items on the, on the tables. We just grabbed uh, different color bags, uh, some for females and, and some for males. Just like the military chow lines, everybody grabbed a bag and started filling it up. And as we were doing that, it wasn't work, it's fun, and everybody enjoys pitching in together to try to do stuff that they know is going to a great cause. Just just knowing that you're giving back to troops that are so deserving of services and programs, it's a, it's a very rewarding feeling. And I guess now we're going to get ready to drive over to Walter Reed and uh, help distribute out all the materials. The TWU and veterans has a very, very long history. World War I and World War II, there was a lot of veterans that worked on airplanes. Well, when they came back, they needed mechanics to work on these airplanes who had the experience, the veterans. 90% of our membership in San Francisco is veteran. Walter Reed then is the uh, facility where we do the most advanced surgeries and all the rehabilitative surgeries for the soldier. When a soldier is wounded in Iraq or Afghanistan, uh, the family is notified almost immediately. Frequently that wounded soldier, if, if conscious enough and able to do so, we will literally permit them to make a phone call home to that family member. So here at the Malone House where we're at right now, yeah, this is where the families come. And you can imagine the trauma that a family goes through when a loved one has gone through those kinds of injuries. But we take care of them, their children, uh, everything is necessary. One minute you're, you're in a war zone and the next minute you're thrown out in the street. And sometimes it's, it's rough for the guys to readjust. It's not an easy thing to, to go shake a man's hand or if he even has the hand to shake and say thanks for serving and, and uh, you know, we support you. And, uh, and he's still got to go home and live with that, uh, that disability for the rest of his life. The soldiers are young kids, kids that are in their 19, 20, 21 years old. And I think we owe it to, to them and to ourselves to make sure that uh, they're appreciated and they're not forgotten. They uh, fight for our country and we should be thanking them when they come back. Armies don't fight wars, nations fight wars, and this is a place where organizations like KW can come and fulfill you know, the Commander in Chief's uh, biggest promise, which is taking care of those who have sacrificed. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the heroes, to tell them thank you. To bring love and to bring appreciation to all the guys that are recuperating. Try to get an understanding of situations and challenges that they're facing. Putting a smile on someone's face. When that person across from you smiles and says, thank you, you know what, that just makes everything okay. No matter what your viewpoints are about the war, support the troops and their families. Because if you haven't been there, you don't know what they're going through. Every veteran, male and female, is a member of the Haircut Club, where they remember their hair, first haircut in boot camp. And I guess that's an exclusive club. The military family is the biggest family out there. We're all one.